When I first moved to China, I was picking up Mandarin and trying to get really good at it. And some of my Chinese friends over there who are also English teachers there with me, they made some suggestions that what I should do is pick up a few key words that'll make me sound like my Mandarin's actually better than it is. So that way it's a lot easier to start conversing with people because they're more interested in conversing with me if I know a few of these key words. And that's what I did and it worked really, really well. And that's the same thing I'm gonna show you how to do today but with coding instead. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Google animate.css and the very first search is this animate.css right here. Click on that. And there we go. All right, so it just floated right in and we'll click on bounce and click animate. All right, animate.css bounces. We'll do flash and hit animate and flashes in. We can do pulse, just pulses a little bit. Rubber band, there's wobble. There are so many of these. I'm actually haven't counted them, so I'm really not sure how many there are. But there's all this animation you can put on divs and heading tags and anything that you want. Basically what happens is when you use this on your site, it's really easy to add in and it makes you look like a really good professional developer because it looks really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and add this. The first thing I want you to do is right click on this view on GitHub section right here and open it up in a new tab. All right, so here we go. So we have their GitHub page, which is just where they add all their files. We're really used to using GitHub now. As you can see, he has 280 commits to this, a bunch of contributors, and he has his README, which functions as an explanation of how to actually go ahead and use it. So it's just add water CSS. So we have the animate.css file so on and so forth and this is what we're interested in you're going to see basic usage or usage when you're going through and adding cool new css or cool new javascript look for that word usage it's going to give you an exact walkthrough about how to actually include this in your files and to get it working really quickly so it looks like the first step is to include the style sheet in our documents head all right so we need to actually get this style sheet, right? We can't just create it ourselves. So we're gonna go back to this animate.css page right here, and we're gonna click download animate.css. So we'll download that. Minimize this. Drag it onto our desktop. There it is right at the top right. Gonna get rid of that one, because I've already downloaded this before. Then I'm going to open up my test file. Now this is the file that I'm currently working on has a good test project for me. And I'm just going to drag it right into the CSS folder. So inside of our CSS, we have main.css and we have animate.css. Now the next thing we need to do is link directly to it. So we can just do rel equals style sheet. Let's drop this down to just to make sure we get the exact right wording in this. So we need to go CSS forward slash, because it's in the CSS folder, animate.css. And then we'll close it. And we'll save it. All right, so we have it now linked to our file. Now the next step is to add the class animated to the element you want to animate. You may also want to include the class infinite for the infinite loop. We're not going to do that. Uh, infinitely animating something typically looks really ugly. Um, it's just really annoying also. So be really careful. There's very few cases when you actually want to do that. So we're just going to create an H1. Give it a class equal to animated. Let's go with a standard hello world. Close it. Save it. And then the final step is you need to add one of the following classes on top or right next to animated as well. So we'll go ahead and add in bounce and we'll save it. We'll go back to our folder, double click on the index page, and there it is in the top right. Let me make that a bit bigger so you can see it. And it bounces as soon as I refresh the page. So we could go ahead and test out a few of these other ones. Uh, let's do flip in X. We'll just replace the bounce. There it is, just flipping in on the x-axis. 
So that's how easy it is to get this going, and it makes you look like a really professional developer. Furthermore, down the line, he also gives instructions for when you get into jQuery on how to have it display on add class, when you click on something, when you're scrolling down the page, it'll display. So there's all these really cool ways to display this that'll just make you look like an even better developer and it's really easy and straightforward to get this going.